Now, in order to upload images to our Firebase, we are going to go to our uh, Firebase project here. And under storage, we are going to uh, start, uh, get start here. And this is going to enable us to use our storage on a Firestore as well. So what we are going to do, just click next here, click done. And this will set up our storage facility for our application. This may take a few seconds. Okay, so what we are interested in is this link here, because this is a link to our Firestore uh, main folder. I'm going to copy this and let's minimize this, go to our constants. And here on top, I'm going to put IDs and keys. So let's write uh, public let, and it's going to be called K file reference. And it's going to be equal to the uh, link we just copied from our Firebase. So once we have this file reference, we can access uh, our uh, Firebase and start uploading other items to it. The other thing we are going to do is go to the rules, because by default, um, only the users who are authenticated, it means logged in to our application, can upload anything to our storage. So for now, since we are not uh, working on a user authentication yet, um, we are going to con change this and say if it's equals to null. So if our user is not authenticated, it will be able to write something or read and write actually from our uh, storage here. This is not ideal, but for our test purposes, this is going to work. And later on, we are going to change this once we work on user authentication as well. So um, let's minimize this. And under my helper files here, I'm going to command N to create a new Swift file. And this file I'm going to call reachability. All right, and what we need here, this file is basically going to check if our application has our device has access to the internet connection. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So um, I'm going to copy paste this ready code because this is a bit advanced level and there is nothing actually to do here. All you need to know that this code is checking if the device is connected to internet or no. So it returns true or false. I will uh, put the code in description so you can copy and paste it as well. So once we have this file ready, we can um, create another file here, Swift file, next. Uh, I'm going to call my downloader. And here we are going to upload and download our images from Firebase. So in order to do that, I'm going to import Firestore. So it's Firebase. Uh, storage and then we are going to get access to our uh, storage so I'm going to say let storage is equals to storage dot storage so this will give us access to our firebase storage okay we are going to need two functions here. One is going to upload the uh, pictures and the other one is going to download the pictures. So let's uh, write the function to upload them first. So it's going to upload images. And this is going to take a parameter image. This is going to be array of UI images. And it's going to be an optional. And then we are going to pass item ID here, which is a string. So we know that these images belong to a specific item. 
and we want to have a callback block here because uploading takes some time and it's happening on a in the background thread so we don't block our main UI and once this upload is finished we want to be notified that's why we are using our callback block here so say completion at escaping and I'm going to return image links which is going to be a type of array of strings because we are going to have multiple links here and I'm going to pro say that this doesn't return anything okay so our uh, function is going to take the images we want to save and for which item it is and uh, once it's uploaded it will return an array of image links so first we want to check if we have connection to internet before we start so we say if and then we are going to just let's say command p to build our project and we're going to check our reachability dot has connection and if it has a connection we are going to upload our images otherwise i'm going to just say else and say print say no internet connection All right, so um, let's just command P to get rid of the errors. And this was successful. Okay, so once we have internet connection, we want to keep account how many images we have uploaded because we are receiving an array here and we don't know how many images is in the array. So in that case, we don't know when, to, uh, when we are done to call our completion. So I'm going to have a variable called upload the images count is equals to zero. And then we want to have a variable that is going to hold our image links. So say image link array is going to be an array of strings and we initialize it with an empty array and var name suffix I'm going to say is equals to zero uh, we use name suffix is because whenever you upload the image with the same name to Firestore storage it will be overridden so if you upload because uh, whatever image we receive from our uh, file here they don't really have a name so we are going to call them like image one image two image three etc and uh, this is where we use this in order to have a different name for each image. Otherwise, it will just always upload one image because it's going to override the name all over again. So once we have these three uh, ready, we are going to go through all the images that we have. So we are going to use for loop image in images. And here we are going to create a file name for each image. So I'm going to say let file name is equals and this is going to be string and we are going to call the main folder item images forward slash and then we are going to say plus item ID plus forward slash plus and we're going to pass our name suffix here plus and we're going to put our uh, image type which is JPEG so basically how this reads we have a main folder called image names this folder will be uh, created for us once we upload our first image right now we have nothing here so we are basically creating a directory we'll have more folder image names then a folder with the item id so specific each item will have its own folder then we just put forward slash then we will have a file with a name 0.jpg then we will have like 1.jpg 2.jpg etc so this will be our dynamic 
file name. Then I'm going to say let image data is equals and we're going to access our image here. And we need to unwrap this and we're going to convert this into a data because uh, we have UI image there. In order to save it to Firebase, we need to convert it into the data. So to convert it to data, we are going to use JPEG data function. And we are just going to say in what co compression quality we want to have, where one is 100% and zero is 0%. Uh, I think you cannot even have zero here, so it's minimum is 0 0.1. So I'm going to have 0 0.5, so we are going to compress with half the quality of it. And once we have this data, we can save our image into Firebase. And this we're going to do in a separate function.